Well, one Southern Indiana family found themselves right in the direct path of the storm after they headed to Puerto Rico for a 30th birthday celebration. WHS 11's night team Ford Sanders was able to catch up to him tonight. He's been talking to them about their experience and the damage this hurricane left behind. Ford is in the newsroom. Ford, they are still there tonight. Yeah, Doug, well, what was supposed to be a fun birthday celebration now ruined as power grids fail, people flock for safety, and water floods the streets. Oh my God! Oh my God! Hundreds of thousands are starting to regain power, but damage is still widespread across Puerto Rico. Floodwaters sweep the streets, homes destroyed, and many left without food, water, and electricity. And in it all right now, a local family. As soon as the plane landed, everyone's phones start going off saying basically the tropical storm that was headed this way um, turned into a hurricane one. That's the scene Brittany Blackman and her family from New Albany were faced with when they landed for her 30th birthday trip. Her husband Samuel says chaos happened quickly. You could barely stand up the way the wind was coming. And then, like I said, our alerts went off and then they were just saying take shelter. He says as the rain came down, it felt like there was no time wasted for floodwaters to overwhelm the area. I don't know how the water system is and the sewage here in Puerto Rico, but it's like instantly everything started flooding. Saturday night, the couple noticed water beginning to come into their Airbnb. Power completely shut off and windows in their unit began to break, relying on the power from their rental car. When it gets dark, we go in with you know, fully charged devices, and then when, when we wake up in the morning, we just recharge them again. The couple is staying an hour away from San Juan, saying they were able to find a Walmart, but there was almost nothing available. We haven't seen anybody, like, handing out food, handing out water. It's like everybody has to, like, basically fend for themselves. And, and if, like, if you don't have money or transportation, it's then hard. you can't get anything. Samuel says they heard from many in the area that this is their harsh reality sometimes. Mm -hmm. And people were just saying that they, they just wish the system here was different. They wish, you know, they, they have electricity and storms. And, and like they say, they used to things like this. Both saying it's important they listen and help where they can, saying this is a reminder to take nothing for granted. And the couple and their kids are supposed to head back to Kentuckyana. Their American Airlines flight leaves at 4 p.m. tomorrow. They have to drive an hour to get to the airport in San Juan, so they're hoping for safe and clear conditions. In the newsroom, Ford Sanders for the WHAS 1119. On your side.